Hey guys, welcome back to Loon Global Unboxing. Today I'm gonna be doing another episode from my Some Disassembly Required series that I have on my channel. Now before I begin, I have to put a disclaimer out because I keep getting comments on my videos about this. People are saying um stuff like that's not how you repair that or you know that's not what that is called. I have to make this clear this is me taking apart electronics and letting people see how to take it apart just in case somebody wants to take it apart and fix it themselves so I am not teaching you how to fix anything I'm just showing you how to take the device apart and letting you get a look on the inside of the device in case one day you want to take the device apart yourself and try to fix it because I keep getting these comments in the videos that don't listen to what I say so I had to make this disclaimer because um, I'm tired of the confusion or it might not even work people might not even listen they might just skip this so but I tried but Today I'm going to be taking apart, this is a battery operated security camera that you can set up and it's from IE Geek, that is the brand and these usually last anywhere from four to six months after they're fully charged. I get a little more time because I usually use um, a solar panel to connect to these to uh, keep them um, charged but let me show you guys how to take this bad boy apart first I'll show you that you get you guys can see here there are screws but they're hidden behind these little seals here that they seal in there to keep it um, watertight I already took one out so you guys can see and the screws behind there and these two are pulled up pretty good and then on the bottom there's more screws underneath the speaker right under these tabs right here there's no um, screws underneath here it's just a charging port and the SD slot and the power and reset button under that okay now I have a hook and pin set these are for automotive you know usually when you're removing seals and um, washers stuff like that small small parts usually in the fuel system but you can use them for all kind of different things not just that but I was using these to try and get the um, parts out here that um, I don't know exactly the name of these parts they're stoppers or seals whatever they call them but trying to get those out but I realized the easiest way to take these out was to use um, regular needle like a sewing needle let me show you got one right here you guys can see it and you just stick that in there and ah, take it right out this was way easier <laughs> than using um, the hook and pin set I have this needle lifesaver and I've already started to drag this one out there we go. That one fell. And the other one up here at the top. This thing would focus a little bit. You guys can see it. This is the other one. Just pull it out. You guys can see. 
there's three screws in the back here and four on the bottom okay these pins come in handy you guys have a set of needles you never know when you need them alright now I'm going to get my little tool set here and start to take out these Phillips screws that these have in here okay it has uh, Phillips screws on three up here and uh, four in the bottom now I'm not gonna let you guys watch me taking the screws out that'll make the video even longer okay now the screws are out and you can see the three I took those out this is where the Wi-Fi antennas are hooked up and I took the four on here where the speaker is so I can pull this off and you can see this is where the speaker is connected right here all right that's for the speaker connection and this one is for your uh, Wi-Fi antenna connection okay as you guys can see and the way to actually get inside this is through the front okay you have to pull this face off here I'm gonna use my um, trusty flathead screwdriver to get that off you got to be careful try not to break it okay you can use um, if you have if you guys have the tools to work on this you can use the tools there's um, plastic tools to work on electronics you know that's not what I do I do it just like a person who does that doesn't have any of the equipment will do it you use their your screwdriver or whatever they can find to pry it open okay so I do it in real life I don't get all the equipment out that a lot of people don't have see now you take the face off right here and you can see right behind the face some more screws four more Phillips head screws right there okay we can get those bad boys taken off okay so I have the four screws removed and you can pull it out here this is the front face of the camera and you can see that it has connectors here a little flat um, connector here band and there's another one down here now you have a few that's connected to the Wi-Fi antennas and there are the couple that's connected to the speakers you guys can see I'll try to take these apart here without breaking anything they are obviously clipped in here so I'm going to use my flathead screwdriver on them try to get these out here alright that bad boy's out if I can get the other one here You guys can use um, pliers or, you know, to take these apart. I'm just doing it the hard way. <laughs> so, there you go. That's out. Now you just have the ribbon cable right here. Close. There you go. There you go. It comes right out then you have the face 
of your battery operated security camera. You can see behind here that I can get this thing to focus. You guys will be able to see the Wi Fi antenna connector goes here. Then you have Camera's not focusing too good, but you guys can see it. You see the two chips here. They have ceramic uh, resistors, transistors, all the fun stuff. And there's two more Phillips head screws right here that you can take off. that since there's just two of them I'll just take these off all right got these two sc screws off here really small Phillips head screws and you can see there's a gasket if you guys can see that gasket the seal goes around here keep it watertight see that and then there's more screws down here you guys see that There. Okay. I got the first two out, and there's the other two right here. I have the in in them in um different colors. The first two were black, and then these other two were silver. You guys can see here. Get that up and there is more connectors underneath here okay to take these uh apart this is where the camera lens and everything's located infrared and all that good stuff but you can see the cables they go around and have the cables around here and move it around so I can get better shot of it there's the underside of it all right let's get these connections out my camera is not focusing for some reason I don't know why not focusing too good all right here it is taken off you can see the other side you guys see that no I'm not a hundred percent sure what each part is called so I'm not gonna even try to name all you know the camera parts on here You guys can see you can take off the film the lens cover it can remove that and I think this is just to absorb moisture I just cannot get this thing to focus today right here I think this is just to absorb moisture inside the unit we'll get to the main unit I'm not even gonna take this little cap off Let's get to the main unit. You can see inside here, behind here is the battery pack where the rechargeable batteries are. And this is where the SD card goes. Right here. Okay. And there is I it looks like there's three more Phillips head screws down in here. And you guys can see. I have to remove those first before I can get this um 
battery pack off I can also remove this panel here for the SD card so let me take that bad boy off alright so I removed the two screws Philip said of this this is for your charging and your micro SD card goes it's the slot here then I took the screws off this uh, bracket here that holds your rechargeable batteries in comes out take that out of there and here pull this out of here is your rechargeable battery pack if you guys can even see that camera is not focusing for some reason but it's your battery pack here if you guys can see that it's a 10,000 milliamps you guys can see it that's a little bit right there all right and it tells you the year this is a 2020 battery you guys can see the battery you get guys and that's all that's in there you can take off the speaker take the antenna off so you can remove all those after you get everything else out but there's nothing else inside that's the whole teardown of this IE geek battery operated Wi-Fi security camera okay guys and like I said in the beginning of the video, this is not a how to fix video. This is a how to take it apart so you guys can see what's inside of it. Because some people are fascinated. They want to know, you know, what it looks like inside their um, electronics without taking them apart. They don't want to break their electronics to look inside. Okay, so I take it apart. You guys can see what's inside. And you don't have to worry about breaking your own electronics to do it. Or if it breaks you know how to take it apart and then you can try to fix it yourself so that's the basic principle of some disassembly required my video series it's not teaching how to fix it's teaching you how to take it apart so you don't have to struggle to take it apart when you have to you already know how to take it apart and then you can yourself try and fix it yourself okay so that was the main purpose of the video guys hopefully it will help some of you in the future when you um, have to take apart your electronics and I have a video about it on my um, channel so thanks for watching the video guys and I will see you guys on the next one hope you enjoyed bye bye now yes and for those wondering I did put the camera back together there's always comments ah did you put it back together oh yes I did I did put it back together everything's back should be except for one um, little seal right here that goes in here everything else is back these two are in it's four down here in Front face is back in. Dan is everything. Speaker. Everything is back. Alright. Hopefully that should satisfy most of the people in the comments. I hope. But that's it guys. See you on the next one.